Welcome to Manchester, the English capital of football and industry. You're watching World Travel Guide, and in this episode of City Guides, we will show you everything you need to know about Manchester and its main attractions, so stay tuned. Manchester is a city in northwest England, the fifth largest city in the United Kingdom. It is located 257 kilometers northwest of England's capital London. The city is fringed by the Cheshire Plain to the south, the Pennines to the north and east, and an arc of towns, with which it forms a continuous conurbation. Manchester lies within the United Kingdom's second most populous urban area, with a population of 2.7 million. The city centre is on the east bank of the River Irwell, near its confluences with the rivers Medlock and Irk, and is relatively low-lying, being between 35 to 42 metres above sea level. The River Mersey flows through the south of Manchester. Much of the inner city, especially in the south is flat, offering extensive views of the foothills and moors of the Pennines, which can often be capped with snow in the winter months. The recorded history of Manchester began with the civilian settlement associated with the Roman fort of Mancunium, which was established on a sandstone bluff near the confluence of the rivers Medlock and Irwell. Throughout the Middle Ages, Manchester remained a minorial township, but began to expand at an astonishing rate around the turn of the 19th century. Manchester's unplanned urbanization was brought on by a boom in textile manufacture during the Industrial Revolution, and resulted in it becoming the world's first industrialized city. Manchester achieved city status in 1853. The Manchester Ship Canal opened in 1894, creating the port of Manchester and directly linking the city to the Irish Sea, 58 kilometers to the west. Manchester's fortune declined after the Second World War, owing to deindustrialization, but the IRA bombing in 1996 led to extensive investment and regeneration of the city. In the 21st century, Manchester has been transformed into a cultural, digital and creative capital in the UK, thanks to extensive funding from both the public and private sectors. From designer retailers, to contemporary apartments and international companies, the city has truly become a thriving centre of investment, connectivity and inspiration. Today, Manchester is the second largest media and digital hub in Europe. The city has an excellent transport network of local bus, rail and tram services, all operating at very reasonable costs. It's easy to plan your journey across all forms of transport. From arts and exhibitions, to comedy and entertainment, there's always a fantastic number of events in Greater Manchester. Known for its musical heritage, Manchester continues to deliver a multitude of music events, including concerts at the big arenas. Well known for its world-famous football teams, Manchester has much to offer in the sporting world. Manchester is home to two world-famous and iconic football teams, Manchester City and Manchester United. Though a local rivalry exists, the two teams have propelled Manchester onto the global stage in world football. Manchester United are at home in the famous Old Trafford Stadium, whilst Manchester City occupy the recently expanded Etihad Stadium, which was originally built for the 2002 Commonwealth Games. With both clubs offering stadium and club tours, as well as unique match day experiences, a visit is a must for any sports fan visiting Manchester. The National Football Museum features fascinating memorabilia related to the sport, including such gems as the very first rulebook, as well as historic trophies and clothing. 
a variety of great short movies show the history of the sport, while fun hands-on displays provide plenty of additional entertainment for youngsters. Designated an Urban Heritage Park, Castlefield is an excellent place to begin exploring Manchester. A walk among the lovingly restored Victorian houses along the old canals, or through the reconstructed Roman fort, is time well spent. Be sure to explore the Bridgewater Canal, constructed in 1761 to transport coal from the mines at Worsley to Manchester. A trip on one of the Bridgewater tourboats is highly recommended. Manchester's Chinatown is the colorful home of one of the largest Chinese communities in Britain. The richly decorated arched gateway leading into the district is especially striking. The many shops and restaurants offer a wide range of culinary delicacies from Hong Kong and Beijing. If you are interested in shopping, unique Chinese handicrafts and artworks can be found at the Center for Contemporary Chinese Art. Manchester Cathedral has been center stage in its city's history for nearly 600 years. Perched on the banks of the River Irwell, the cathedral dates mostly from 1422 to 1506, and was raised to cathedral status in 1847. Particularly attractive are its chapels on both sides of the nave and choir. A good way to get a different view of Manchester is a boat trip between the city center and Salford Keys. Enjoy the relaxing river cruise floating down the River Irwell and the historic Ship Canal between Manchester city center and the former Manchester docks, now known as Salford Keys. Chatham's Library is the oldest public library in the English-speaking world. In continuous use since 1653, the library has more than 100,000 books, more than half of them printed before 1850. It is housed in a beautiful sandstone building dating from 1421.
Heaton Park is the biggest park in Greater Manchester and one of the largest municipal parks in Europe. The park has been extensively restored and retains many of its original buildings and vistas. Sports enthusiasts will enjoy its 18-hole golf course, driving range and tennis courts, while families can explore the animal farm, woodlands and adventure playground. Heaton Hall, built in 1772, lies in the very heart of the park, and although not all of it is open to the public, it remains an impressive sight. England has dreary weather, often raining during the year, and the same can be said for Manchester. The average temperature in winter is 5 degrees Celsius, and in summer, the average temperature rises to 20 degrees. Manchester has a mild climate, but keep in mind that it can rain at any time. The best time to travel to Manchester is from the beginning of summer to early fall. However, there are many different festivals and touristic events throughout the year. If you are interested in football, you can go to Manchester during the winter months, when the football competition is intense. What's your opinion on Manchester? Let us know in the comments. If you loved this video, hit the like button and subscribe for more amazing content.